The long wait is over, Clipper fans. Your team's new home will open its doors tonight. Now, it will be a few more months before the Clippers actually take the court, but they've got an A-list opening act. Bruno Mars gets the honor of breaking in the state-of-the-art venue tonight. Backup dancer David Pingalore <laughs> is live in Inglewood with a look at LA's newest <laughs> arena. Hi, Ping. Bust the moves. You, you know, there... there there was like there was a big rumor out there that Steve Bomber, the owner of the Clippers, wanted me to be the opening act for Bruno Mars. Oh yeah. Can I even say that with a straight face? Well, no. confirm or I deny can't even it. Sing oh. for out loud. <laughs> I can't sing. I'm not. I can't even do karaoke. Uh, nonetheless, yeah, this is it. Grand opening right here in Inglewood at Into a Dome. This has been a project that has gone on for years, and they have finally completed it for tonight's opening act. That would be Bruno Mars at 8 p.m. and we're going to get into the NBA schedule when the Clippers get going but first we got to bring in once again drum roll please come on in Claudia Calderon I, okay you're the chief marketing officer for the Clippers you have been on KTLA now every day it seems like she's <laughs> laughing um, this is it everybody got to download the Intuit dome app right that's correct uh for any fan that's coming today or any event in the near future whether it's a concert or a comedy show or a basketball game. We did drop our schedule today, yes. October 23rd. I'm going to show that in a second. Okay, perfect. You need to have the Intodome app downloaded. You need to create an account. And the best part is if you complete your full profile, you get a $10 credit that you can use at any of our food and beverage concession stands here in the arena. And that's a deal because you can get a lot for 10 bucks here because everything's pretty priced pretty well. We we saw that on Monday. Yeah, I mean, a hot dog, is yeah. eight, it's eight bucks. That's Pricing is perfect. Steve Ballmer has got it all down. Anything else? Big night. I mean, it's 8 o'clock. It is a big night. So for any fans that are actually heading over to the arena today, other than having their app uh, and their cre account created, merch. If you have a ticket, you'll be able to get into the plaza starting at 4. So you can be one of the first people in line to get all of the great Bruno March merch. Uh, we've got our ribbon cutting at 530, which is very exciting. This is 10 years, almost 10 years in the making, so we're super excited. And then obviously, doors open at 6, show begins at 8 p.m. Bruno Mars. You want to sing any tunes of Bruno? I don't want to scare your uh, okay. audience. Well, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Download the Intuit Dome app. Claudia, thank you. Now that we're outside, I'm going to send you inside now. This building is beautiful. The $2 billion project by uh, owner Steve Ballmer. This was something that he wanted to build. He wanted to get away from that other arena in downtown and not be, you know, the second, third tenant with the, uh, you know, the other basketball team in town. We won't even mention them, but we're going to mention them in a second. But the building is beautiful. They got the halo board, 18,000 seats. Tonight it's going to be rocking. And Steve Ballmer and I, we uh, had a chance to meet up a couple weeks ago and yeah he is ready to go as he is getting ready to arrive here from his home in seattle this afternoon did you take some of your what you take as a fan and and want to put it into a building for the fans i did now you could say it's always dangerous when you build a product if you build it for you versus building it for other people might be bad but I did anchor this in my view as a hardcore fan, but we had plenty of other people giving feedback, pressure testing, and that's how the building became what it is today. All right, obviously the home of the Clippers, and they will get things started in just a couple of months right here. The season home opener is October 23rd against the Phoenix Suns. Then on January 19th, I put some key dates in here. They are away from their other building and they will play the Los Angeles Lakers on the 19th of January and then the Celtics come in on the 22nd and again they will play the Lakers on February 4th and they will wrap things up with the final home game on April 9th. Now this is the first time since 2000 2001 season that the Clippers won't have any matinee games here and that's what Steve Ballmer wanted. Now as for the team across the street so they're going to come here first. They got the Timberwolves on the 22nd, then they got the Celtics the day after here, and the Clippers will go over there to Crypto.com Arena uh, on the 28th of February and March 2nd. And there's Steve right there. Steve Bomber is in the house, and I think I can get him live for us. Steve, you just came in. Are you, are th you, this, this project, we just did our interview that we did a couple weeks ago. Yeah. But this project is, is completed. I mean, look at, look at it. I love it. I love it. I mean, look, I hope the night goes perfectly. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, 
Yeah. Yeah, I, I think it'll be good. I mean, when we talked, it, it's obviously more than what you expected. Now that it's opening night, I mean, do you, do you have the anxiety, the nervousness? I mean, you've done yeah. big things in your career, but tonight uh, is it. I'm anxious. I am anxious. I'll admit to being anxious. It's not even like software where you can change, change it the next day. <laughs> Man, this is it. I hope people like it. And it it's turned out great. You know, I'm sure we're first opening, who knows, could have a little bump, but... I think people are going to like it. But. And we know you're a super fan. The schedule came out the 2030 against the Suns. You know what's amazing? No more of those matinee games. No more. Steve Bomber right Thanks, there. Man. All right. He is ready to go for Bruno Mars tonight. You saw Bomber live on KTLA 5. There you Such go. Such good energy. Any other questions? Yeah, what a nice guy. Yes, he's got a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. Ping, I have a couple oh, questions. Uh, he's like super nice. Have you tested all yes. of the new uh, facilities? If you know what I mean. Uh, oh, the t yes. He put in. He they put in more toilets than any other arena in the world because he doesn't want people sitting oh. uh, in the bathroom. Um, get back to your seats. So yes, That's there's going to be a lot of toilets. Yes, he didn't want people just going to the bathroom and just not watching the game. What <laughs> okay. else would you like to know? My second question was about. I just how got to Steve Bomber on live. Oh, that's incredible. I w I wanted to ask him how the, yeah, no, the buying food worked at the stadium because they're using your face now. Yes, yeah, so you got to download that Intuit Dome app. Mm -hmm. It's all cashless. You go in and you just walk out. There's going to be no lines because that he's he basically said he wants to be like if you're at home coming off your couch, you walk to the refrigerator and you walk out. Yeah, that's kind of their plan. Incredible. And so there is going to be no lines in the concessions. Yes. Yeah. All high tech. I mean, for crying out loud, he is Mr. Microsoft back in the day. Yes. Very very cool. He knows software. Are you going to the concert tonight? No. Okay. Well, he's performing. That's right. So. Oh, <laughs> thumbs down. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, Sebastian Maniscalco is in here on Saturday night, by the way. Oh, that's okay. fun. He was Perfect. just on so KTLA. Bruno that's Mars, great. Bruno, yeah, Bruno Mars uh, is tomorrow night as well, but Sebastian will be here Saturday night. All right. David Fingalore, as hours. always. Thank you. Bye.